Well, greetings from downtown Shenzhen. This is Y2J Does Asia. One of the crazy things that's happened in Shenzhen in the past few years is the, uh, the shared bike revolution. It's not, um, it's not e-bikes, it's shared bikes. So these are shared bicycles. Uh, you see, you can see them just you got the mo bikes they're like the orange and silver ones and you've got the uh the yellow i think they're ofo bikes i'm not familiar with all the brand names because it's one of these things where one company does it and then another one does it another one does it yeah just take take keep in mind what, what what you're seeing around me is these bikes are just being dumped everywhere now they've actually got i believe a microchip system in them so that you can, you're supposed to actually pay, pay to use them, pay to rent them, and then actually return them to a designated like bike station. You can see the, the white road marking on the ground. But people don't do it. They literally dump them everywhere. Rubbish pile of bicycles. And I think the city has to spend money to clean up these bikes. Uh, <laughs> look over here. And they're all used and abused. I mean, they're, they're not looked after. Um, and this has only happened in the past few years, actually. The last time I was in Shenzhen, 2016, I don't remember seeing this many of these bloody bikes everywhere. Do you remember seeing this many bikes? Um, it was there, but not as many as nowadays. The bikes are almost like litter. They're just they're just everywhere. There's far too many of them. Just like you can't go down the road and not see them. They're everywhere. So these are these bikes that are just everywhere. So they have a QR code. They have um, like a registration number. And they have this rubber lock that goes through here. Of course, this is the toughest, sturdiest part of the bike, and um, they're actually electronic. So you'll go and type in, type in a code and stuff. You'll have to uh, use the app to pay to use the bike, and then you know, come on, you know, because you'll find the bike, you know, pay, use the app, type in the code, and then off you go. You're um, you're uh, riding your bike, and they're supposed to go into you know designated areas like this little bicycle park. You can see the the white road marking on the ground. But the problem is people just leave them fucking anywhere. That's the problem. A bunch of them, the whole... Yeah, heaps of them. Heaps and heaps. There's a food courier called Mei Tuan. Here's something that's a little frustrating about China. You have these e-bikes and stuff, and they're all on the footpath. <sighs> ah, and here's what makes it legal. That sign means pedestrians and cyclists share the footpath. Meituan coming through. These uh, guys are called Meituan. That's the name of the company. I call them the kangaroo couriers. Looks like they're all having a break or the training at the moment. We go to the mall, have yeah. a rest, and then that we are having tea here. Yeah. See, what they do is um, different restaurants, they sell um, different food. But they employ these guys, and these are not the only guys, there's other companies, but this is like the biggest one. They deliver food everywhere, so they jump on the e-bikes, and they will deliver your food. There's Meituan, Meituan, coming through. And you'll just be walking down the road and it's like beep 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 and you'll, and you'll, and you'll see the bike and you'll hear the bike and it's like Hey Twan, come on through! Like, they're everywhere! Everywhere because they wait for the order. Yeah. The orders come from all the shops. Yeah. Let them deliver you the food. Yeah. You'll see these guys rushing in and out of hotels, on the footpath, you know. Just That's going true. And hanging around the restaurants because they're waiting for the delivery, you know. That's Mei Twan, the kangaroo couriers. All through China. In the big city.